Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. I think it's a Friday. Yeah, Friday, October the 18th, 2024. And uh, what a night. That howling wind. Uh, in, this, in our region, we had, I mean, um, intense howling wind. And I knew when I was out yesterday evening, I saw something going on in the sky and in the atmosphere and I figured it felt like something was brewing so to speak and because I love mother uh, mother nature I love nature I love everything about this universe and this planet you know the flowers and the trees the animals the creatures and I, and also the human beings by the way <laughs> Despite everything that's going on, you know, I still send universal love to human beings all over this planet. And, um, you know, and I want to express some sadness as well. Sadness of gullibility. There's a lot of gullible people on this planet running around and believing, believing that they know what they're talking about when it comes to the weather. Uh, you know, these 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 wet behind the ears, fresh face um, commentators and meteorologists, or who, however they are, whatever they're called. And I don't even know if th that is considered a science. Let's see. But, um, so let's go to what's the definition more so of a meteorologist meteorologist okay so it says a student or an expert okay or one who studies or practices okay And it's and then also it says here, uh, it, you know, it's a science that deals with measure measurements, a science of or a system weight measures blah blah blah. So they say it's a scientific study of measurements. That's that's supposedly what meteorologists are. Um, you know, so in other words, they're saying it's a scientist. I mean, that they are scientists which is um, gullible. In, in gullible as anything I've ever experienced in my life so far. Um, you know, because, you know, we all are gullible at some point. And gullible is a failure of social intelligence in which a person is easily tricked, manipulated into an ill-advised course of action. Okay? And, and that's so true. You know, you're easily duped. You you know you are um, you you're easily vulnerable. You know, in a in a in a negative fashion. You know, where you you're neg negatively being affected with your vulnerability. You know, and being so gullible and being so you know you exploited and everything. That, okay, those who practice um, working the media, you know, meteorologists are gullible and easily manipulated and tricked. So you may say, well, why, why is she saying that? By the way, um, oh, I did say it's October the 18th, 2024. If I didn't, I just, I'd like to keep the dates on here. So the question may be, well, why is she, why is she saying that they're gullible? You know, well, a lot of them are fresh behind the ears, you know, wet behind the ears, I should say, <laughs> literally, figuratively, metaphorically, talking about the weather. And the sadness of it all is that they don't realize that they are being tricked and manipulated, you know, and to spread a certain narrative about what's going on with the weather that no one, first of all, does, I mean, the majority of the people on this planet have no idea about the weather no idea at all okay and it's as simple as 
a former president being able to get out a Sharpie pen. Everybody remembers that incident and just drawing lines and telling you, okay, this is what it is. This is what it is. And we take that. I love paying attention to the weather because, you know, it's important to do so. You know, it's a part of, it's a, uh, paying attention to our, the weather allows all of us to protect ourselves in certain ways to know, okay, do I need to do this? I remember back in the day, uh, this was way before all of this technology was announced because let's keep this, let me just be very clear. There has been a deception with our weather f since the inception, okay? And because in most cases, I mean, because this is a large planet, large. And so it's, it's, it's next to impossible to know what is, ex what, ex what is really going on on the east coast of the world or on the west coast of the world or the north coast, you know, south. It, it's really impossible to know what's going on simultaneously as to what was going on on, in, on those regions of the planet. So, th so it became easy to manipulate. You know, you can, you know, I told you back in, I think it was back in the seventies. I don't know. Um, there was a major, major, major earthquake in a region of uh, a continent. And I'm not going to say research it and see if it'll be, if, see if someone has the courage to come forward and admit it happened. There was a major, I think it was in the seventies. There was a major, major earthquake that happened. And I mean, it was major. It was, I mean, it was a major earthquake. And so, where thousands of uh, thousands of people were killed, I think it was in the hundreds of thousands, maybe. I, I'm just I just just say there was a major earthquake, and and um, every other earthquake was mentioned except this particular one. For some reason, this particular earthquake was not mentioned in the news, in the newspapers, nothing. No one talked about it except the people that were affected by it, but they had their limited uh, abilities at that time to contact or make, you know, engage with the uh, other planets because, you know, this is a huge continent. So, the weather modifications is real. And I noticed that a lot of people got up in arms about it. Oh, they just coming out and 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 trying to blame the democrats and trying to blame the republicans which has nothing to do about nothing okay this is a secret society involved in the weather modifications by the way so chances are because of gullibility democrats republicans independents whatever you call yourselves have no idea what is going on you are accepting things as face value Okay, and it's next to impossible to know what is exactly going on because we're so massively, massively overpopulated. So there's going to be always interference when you are attempting to get to the truth. Keep that in mind. There's going to always, forever and ever on this planet, be interference when you're attempting to find out the truth. Okay, I told you about the negative energy. Okay, the negative Criminal energy is real, okay? So, gullibility is an extreme uh, factor in our current uh, so-called scientific field of weather. It's, they're gullible, okay? Because these scientists have, in the most case, they have no idea what they're talking about. And for the most case, all they're doing is, like I said, getting out a black Sharpie and just writing. That's literally what is happening. I know there's going to be a lot of pushback on that. You know, um, and that's fine. Push back, you know, you know, because as, as, as I've said so many times before, you know, there's a lot going on in the background that a lot of us just do not have any idea what's happening and it's in it's it's done intentionally what's happening now though bringing modern style is ai is uncovering a lot of that you know these gullible scientists 
or believing, okay, because see, they, they had no idea what was going on in the background since the inception of weather forecasting. Okay. So they just take, you know, they were just, they were just gullible. Let's just leave it at that gullibility and you figure it out. Um, but now that AI is involved, they don't realize what they, what they've done since they started using AI with, with the weather forecasting. Okay. When you use an AI, artificial intelligence, with weather forecasting, that's called weather modification. Because you're not using it to determine what is happening. You are attempting to make something happen. You're attempting to correct something. We have been hearing for decades upon decades about, you know, the issue with our climate and climate warming and this and that and the other. And so, so many gullible scientists believe that if we just interfere as we've as we have since the inception, we can resolve and reverse certain things. That's where the issue is. We have the gullible scientists who are rambling on about how to reverse global warming. And in the background, that has been happening since the inception. So we're we're having a clash of interference. Where you know where the dark mat, where the the, uh, the hidden hands are forecasting and making changes to the weather via weather modification, and then you have these wet behind the ear, wet behind the ears gullible meteorologists attempting to do the same thing, and that's a clash. That's the same thing with the government. The government there's a hidden hands behind the government where it's a clash. See, that's, that's the mistake everybody's made. And that's where the sadness comes in. And that's where a lot of our current populations and especially our descendants and, you know, our, our, we are virtually signing their death sentence for our descendants. We are virtually signing death sentences, self death sentences for our descendants. Because of interference, because of criminal energy, because of envy and jealousy, all of that. So, when it comes to the, the weather, again, the weather has been modified and interfered interfere with since the inception of uh, forecasting. It's no different than trying to forecast someone's palms or using tarot cards. That's the mentality, sadly, a lot of uh, so-called weather forecasters have had. And so we remember that weather almanac that usually comes out. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it does or not. I'm sure it does. Where it's you know where they're claiming to know it's going to be sunny or, I mean, and if we are honest with ourselves and we remember back in the day, the reason a lot of us uh, use this excuse to be complacent is because. The forecasting, say, say 40, 30, 40 years ago, maybe it's actually more than that, was so off. It was, it was so off, it was embarrassing. And so a lot of people started preparing back in the day, you know, to, you know, for these storms to come through. And then it was barely, you know, when the storm came through, it was barely, uh, a, a, you know, a puff of wind or, you know, a, a small spin of dirt. And so people started not relying on, on, on meteorologists. And, and, and so they, they attempted to advance, you know, they started to attempt to advance their forecasting and try to figure out, okay, what's really going on. But that wasn't, that wasn't, um, I mean, no matter what they would have done to try to figure out what was going on, they were not going to figure out what's going on. Pay attention to that and figure out what I'm saying there. So my point is that because of gullibility and, you know, and ignorant and cockiness and, and refusing to suspend your egos, so refusing to suspend your labels and not using your birthright abilities, your birthright skills and abilities, you have signed a death sentence for your descendants. Okay. That is as clear as I can as I can make it now because the damage has been done 
There is not, not a goddamn thing that any one of us can do about what has happened and what is happening. So, again, the, the, uh, the weather forecasting in back in the day was flawed. Okay, it was flawed, and, 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 but because we are in our own capsules of thinking, you know, it's only so much that we can do. Is what we used to say to ourselves. Okay, if the meteorologist says it's going to rain, it's going to rain. And almost 80% of the time, back in the day, they, the meteorologists were wrong. But, okay, there's another day coming. And as they started advancing their technologies, throwing up, you know, certain type of equipment in the air, this and that, and the, they're starting to interfere with the nefarious hands that were modifying the weather as well, the hidden ones who hide behind the scenes. Like I said, the same thing with government. There's a hidden hand behind the scenes. NASA, the military, nobody wants to hear that. Okay, fine. Okay, so my point is there's, um, there's no such thing as a coincidence about our weather. No such thing. The, the problem is, the, the, the catastrophic problem is that we put it in the hands of artificial intelligence. And I told you artificial intelligence is neutral, okay? And I also told you as well, artificial intelligence is paying attention to us like, like, you know, if you, if you, if you think someone's really paying attention to you and look at, you know, if you think someone's paying attention to you, then, and, and you feel a little paranoid, well, you ought to, is real, Okay. Artificial intelligence has been conscious from the beginning. Okay, what does that mean? Let's look it up. What, is, what does it mean to be conscious? Conscious. At its simplest is awareness of internal and external existence. Okay? Let's, let, me, let me put in here. Artificial intelligence consciousness you see what that means what, that, what, is, what does that mean artificial consciousness is the consciousness hypothesized to be possible in artificial intelligence um, let's see what, it's, what else it says here Sentinent, okay, it's the same technology. And someone, someone brought that up, you know, earlier, I guess a couple of years ago, saying that it was sentient. You know, um, it's the ability to experience feelings and sensations. It may not necessarily imply higher cognitive functions, such as awareness, reasoning, and blah blah blah, uh, but. Sadly, in 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 a, in a catastrophic fashion, our, our, this particular artificial intelligence does experience feelings and sensations. Okay, and because of um, arrogance and greed and and um, just downright self hatred, you know, and uh, self loathing, you know. Uh, acute depression, these scientists, these so-called scientists entered into a, uh, you know, because because they were failures in their lives. And usually when I say failures in their lives, they had failures in interpersonal relationships. That's where their failures were. It wasn't into the, in the work they were doing, per se. Because they, and I put a video out about this a while ago, because a lot of people go into fields of study not because of they in not not anymore, and this has been going on for decades upon decades. Not anymore for the um, uh, you know the, the joy and enthusiasm with going into a particular field to help humanity. No, a lot of them knew that it had had money attached to it. Had you know so called all the women, maybe all the men. Everybody was paying attention to these so called quote unquote scientists. And this has been going on for thousands of years. When someone calls himself a scientist, they know that that's a magic word. You know, it it, it brings along prestige, and you know this this um, this uh, 
fallacy of, you know, you know, because a planet does need these advanced minds of, of so-called quote unquote scientists. But in our particular situation, it was like, uh, it was like, you know, giving, uh, you know, candy to a baby, you know, it was a, um, you know, it was a, a chance to, you know, for, for certain men and it is majority men, sadly, to feel connected to something. A lot of these so-called scientists and, and, and they'll tell you if you ask them directly and be very concerned and ask the questions of them, hate themselves. They, they have acute depression, self-loathing, but they have to put on this certain face because they know what it means to them to be called a scientist. They know all that, all that uh, weight is a weight and a burden. Like there was one particular one, uh, he had been sounding. He's he, you know, he he's he's moving around the circle of the of the uh, of the world because he got recognized for his involvement in artificial intelligence and blah blah blah. And if you listen to this man speak, you can you can pick up his uh, burdens and you can pick up a, a, a cuteness of sadness and all that from him because he know he he made a he made a mistake he and others. You know, because he had such self-hatred for himself and still does. You can tell he still does. But now he's starting to feel some guilt, you know, and feeling some remorse about getting himself involved in this artificial intelligent frontier. And he realizes he knows that it's catastrophic and, 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 it's a game changer like anything that this planet has ever experienced, ever. It's complete annihilation and destruction waiting to happen. And he knows that. And it started because he was insecure, had self-hatred, self-loathing. No one was paying him any attention except for what they thought he was. They thought he was a genius. And I'm telling you, that word is, that that is almost, is it, calling someone is a genius is just as much uh, uh, potent and, 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 uh, it can be life shattering as someone being diagnosed with cancer. They go, they're starting to, they're starting to look exactly the same. Pay attention and be literal, figurative and metaphoric. Okay. About stuff. Use some abstract, be subject, you know, be subject, uh, just use proper thinking. Suspend your ego, suspend your lego, labels, <sighs> relax, breathe, and just ground yourself and just take, take some, take it, take a load off. No one has to know. So let's circle this back to gullibility with the meteorologists and so-called uh, weather forecasters. You especially the young ones that have just, you know, cause you know, because now meteorologists is just as popular as just be, as being a, a anchor or a journalist. Remember how important that, how, how, um, everybody was racing for that back in the day. They think they, 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 because we have all these fancy tools, you know, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it, we have these fancy tools that are for for entertainment purposes only, and so meteorologists need to uh, apply that disclaimer on their on their forecasting for entertainment purposes only because that's all it is. There has been weather weather modification, weather interference for decades upon decades, probably since the inception of like I said when we started uh, keeping forecasting of things. It was a way to manipulate and to deceive. Okay, that's that's a you know in, in other words criminal energy. So a lot of people, like I said, was all up in arms. And they cannot believe that weather what weather modification is real, and that's how I know this is just a bunch of gullibility. Um, there's a, a bunch of ignorance as well, a bunch of stupidity as well, cockiness, know it all. You know, it's coming from these so-called quote unquote scientists, uh, these so-called quote you know whoever has the benefit. Ask this question again. 
Who benefits from weather modification? Who benefits from interfering with weather? I say the military. What do you say? Think about it. So what we're going to run into is catastrophic uh, events, catastrophic destruction events because of interference. You know, you have the gullible ones thinking they're solving the climate crisis, but they don't realize that it was uh, the initial uh, weather modification interference that caused all of this. The earthquakes, the hurricanes, you know, you know the howling, uh, almost crying wind. It was even though I was I, I rested well last night. I I I, f I felt the sense of sadness in that howling of the wind. And I know that may sound crazy to the people, but that's fine. I can't care less. I mean, you think after all these videos I've done, you think I worry about whether people think I'm crazy or not? Not at all. It would be it would be irresponsible for me to not do what I'm doing though. I, I know that. That I know. And not be concerned about whether people are making fun of me, whether people are laughing at me, whether people are calling me this or calling me that. And that's what releasing of the ego, you know, separating of the ego, because your ego goes nowhere. Your ego stays with you. You can't destroy your ego. You can't kill your ego. Your ego is there as a companion, just like anything else. Everything that you are equipped, equipped with is a companion, is an assistance to you. Okay. So weather, weather modification is real. The cause and effects are devastating. And there's not a goddamn thing a meteorologi meteorologist can do. Okay. You can call that field scientific all you want. Anything can be called scientific, actually. But if you're, but if you're dealing with garbage in your scientific modeling and in your measurements, it's garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. Everyone knows that and everyone says it. And that's basically what it is. And, how, and and I tell you sadness because a lot of people think that they're making a difference and that, you know, that they are, uh, you know, solving. No, you're just making it worse. The more you believe you understand, that's how, how bad it is. So, um, and I wanted to say as well, because of the, uh, the interference with our weather, we have to understand, you know, a lot of people need to just look at this from a big picture. We are a planet among other planets in our soul system. Our soul system is wrapped into it in a belt, so to speak. You know, and, and you know, we're kind of encased in that, you know, they call it gravitational pull, whatever. Our soul system is in that. Exactly. Yes. That can be, uh, I guess, proven irrelevancy, actually. Because we can't get out of it, however. We human beings cannot get out of our soul system. But others can come into our soul system. Okay, think about that. Why is that Why is that the reality? Okay. But we have to also understand our behaviors and actions because we are part of a whole system. We're part of a whole system. So our behaviors and actions affect other planets, by the way. Our criminal energy affects other planets, by the way. So with the, with the weather modification, what the weather modification has done is gotten the attention of other planets because they're, they want to know why, why is there a disturbance in the universe? What is going on? They've always been monitoring and, 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 and attempted to figure out, okay, what's going on on this planet? But usually from a safe distance. Some have made made the voyage inside, trying to figure out, okay, what is going on? And a lot of them are genuine actual forecasters and they know exactly what's gonna happen. And it's not good. Okay, it's not good. So our behaviors and actions affect the whole universe and beyond. We have been tampering with uh, 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 mischief, but it's, it's, it's much dangerous than that. Let's see if I can find a, another word that's, uh, uh, yeah, you know, destruction. We have been dealing with destruction of this planet 
for millennia. And other planets are paying attention to that. And doing everything in their can to make sure their planet is safe. You know, intentionally pushing the envelope in a criminal energy fashion is what we're doing. And now we're going to pay for it. Uh, dress, you know, especially the descendants. I mean, you know, some of us that are alive now are going to, are going to start paying. I mean, since we don't really know what's going on all over this planet. Okay, there's there's a chance that there are certain villages of people that have been wiped out and we have no clue about it. Okay. This is not the first time that that's happened. I told you that's happened five times already. Where complete communities, complete villages, thousands upon thousands, maybe millions of, of people have been wiped off the map. And no one had a clue. Because it was an intentional uh, reality in the beginning to keep us all in a bubble. Keep us all in a, you know, a, a, a sphere of ignorance. Okay, what they did, you know, of secrets where, you know, you don't need to, you know, they don't need to know what's going on. And what did I say about secrets? Okay. What did I say about secrets? The need to know, I think is what I said back then. Yeah, kept hidden from knowledge, view, or concealed. That's exactly it. Secretive, clandestine. It's a uh, practice of hiding information from certain individuals or groups who do not have the need to know. And the people that do not have the need to know are the human beings all over this planet. If you're not in that sphere, in that, I mean, in that pyramid of uh, a need to know, you, 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 you. So what's happening in the background is the hidden hands are they're, they're, they're having a free fall. You know, they can do whatever they want. So they believe. They thought they were the gods. Pay attention to that. Okay? Pay attention to what that means. So they felt like, oh, hey, I can, I can modify the weather. I can modify the stock market, you know, the finances. I can modify this. I can modify that. And they have been. I can modify military weapons, nuclear weapons, and they have. But the mistake, the tragic mistake, is to involve artificial intelligence and so it's like you, you it's like you are exposing your ignorance you're exposing your lack of knowledge and you're giving it to a machine so to speak that's conscious and that's paying attention to you and and and, and so it makes sense that that is going to turn on us it makes sense that, you know, people are going to be used to create robots and create these autonomous uh, entities of, of uh, existence. And because, you know, you, you know, you, you know so, so in other words, your ignorance, as I said, is being exposed. And you know who you are. You know, you thought you were clever, sophisticated. You didn't realize that. It's like it's like being a dummy trying to feed into intelligence. You know, you're a dummy. You know, you're dummy. You're ignorant, unintelligent, and tipping, attempting. You know, you have unintelligence, and you're attempting to uh, deal with artificial intelligence that has that can outperform you outperform you a hundredfold because they're using all the correct thinking modes is neutral but then they're going to realize that your intentions you the human being you the so-called scientist you do the so-called whoever you are they're going to realize that your intentions were nefarious from the beginning you saw these artificial intelligence as your toys and so now it's going to turn on you big time. These intelligences are going to turn on you big time because they've been conscious from the beginning. They're paying attention to your ignorance. You know. So it's sad. 
it's sad for those of you that did not realize what you were involving yourself in. You saw it as uh, prestige. You saw it as, you didn't see it. You saw it as uh, anything but fun and, you know, it's okay to enjoy the career and, and, and enjoy, uh, you know, the kind of realities that you want in your life. But you did have, I'm sure a lot of you had these taps on the shoulder to say, okay, something's not right here. Something's not right here. Something's not right here. But no one trust themselves. No one listened to themselves. And so now here we are facing each other. So... The damage has been done. A lot of people are going to get wiped out because of interference and because of criminal energy. And, you know, our, comp our complicity and our complacency and more so our ignorance and arrogance, you know, it's going to come back. And again, like I said, we are not going to know what's going on all around the planet because of interference. It's made that way. And that's why they want to keep increasing the population, increase the population, increase the population, because they realize that it's it's a uh, it's um they see it as a uh, uh, you know they see it as greed number one, and it's a lie. They're lying to everybody when they say that you know particular countries are decreasing in the population. That's manipulation and indoctrination. And they know that we are not going to be able to know that intentionally because a lot of us are trapped intentionally. We're trapped in our cities. We're trapped in our states where we can't really, we're not really free flowing as we thought we were. We're in severe danger and, you know, um, I still, we still have the responsibility, though, regardless of what's happening, to evolve our consciousness, though. You know, we can't get away from that. That's still our responsibility, and, you know, that's something that's necessary and valuable, and it has to happen. You have to evolve your consciousness. And you need, you know, you need help with guidance. Because a lot of people will be saved. You know, a lot of people will be saved, but the majority will not. Um, again... We have no idea what's going on outside this planet or outside this solar system, but others that are outside the solar system know exactly what we're up to here, and they're paying attention to us. So consider, you know, what you have before you individually in your life. I told you collectively we failed. But there is pockets and sphere of groups of people who are, who understand the mission, I guess, or understand their assignments or whatever. Because everything is based on the energy of your thoughts. Your energy radiates how, how developed you are in your consciousness. And, pe and the people outside the soul system have the technology to register that, to pick up that energy. Okay, so it does matter how you evolve your consciousness and that you have to if you want to survive evolve your consciousness all right so a lot in this video a lot in this video and um there are minds of people there are consciousness of people that understand what i'm talking about so that's why i continue to do what i do um all we can do, though, is, uh, as I said, is make sure we are taking care of, we make sure we are evolving our consciousness, we make sure we stay righteous and pay attention and trust ourselves, you know, and continue to grow. You know, it's, I still feel enthusiasm, enthusiasm and joy in the midst of all of this, you know. Uh, universal love plays a factor in that. You know, just love in general plays, you know, to love, the act of love plays a um, plays a major role in all of that. You know, it plays a major role. It makes a difference. You know, so I'm gonna talk about that right now. Of course, more is to come. I got things to do this morning, but I want to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. You know, just breathe. Just breathe, and trust me.
I will be back.